What is up guys, Mytikus here. Thank you for joining me today on a special little video. I had a dream last night and I had to make a video about it. Um, typically I do not make videos such as this. Uh, typically you're going to see league battles from me and the, uh, the random let's play that ends three or four episodes into it. But today I bring uh, a, a different video and that is a theory. Uh, I had a dream last night, like I said, and it was about a theory on Pokemon. And guys, I just think it's a, I think it's a pretty decent theory. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below once I go over everything. Some things might be a little bit of a stretch, but I think that we're going to get a new Tapu in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and I'll tell you exactly why I think that. Uh, right now so basically on the screen right now you can see that this is the map that we used and we explored on Pokemon Sun and Moon this is what we were introduced to originally we have four islands that we traveled across and each one had a Tapu that represented that island you had Tapu Coco, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Finny and Tapu Lele um, and each were unique in their own ways, but they all carried the fairy typing along with another typing, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, so we had four tapus, and so what's kind of unique and interesting is that in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, the map changes just a bit. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, now, disregard the colors of it because that's obviously not going to have any effect on anything, but. What we do see is a weird little black hole um, right above the first island. Uh, and, you know, this could be an assortment of different things, but uh, it, it could be that this is a new island um, or a uh, some sort of territory that would be similar to an island. Uh, now, now you're, I know what you're thinking. So we have four islands. Each one is represented by a tapu. This island that's covered up by this black and purple smoke seems to be too small uh, to be an island um, that may be represented by a abulu. Totally understand. Totally understand. And it may not be that the case. Um, also, there may be some things in the the clouds that we're not quite seeing. If you're in the bottom left is a huge cloud that just takes a massive amount of the picture and I actually have this picture zoomed in a little bit so it's actually covering a little bit more of the cloud than what you're seeing um, but you know there's an island that could easily be underneath those clouds um, I don't think that's the case I think really the only thing we're missing is uh, what's underneath that black and purple cloud but uh, let me just kind of shift the picture up a little bit and show you um, you can actually see that that is definitely enough space for an island to be in that bottom left corner. Uh, and, and that would definitely, definitely be enough space or a big enough island to um, be considerable, uh, a, a considerable, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a, uh, it, it's big enough to, to, for the story to definitely... Um, have a lot of involvement with it and, and to add another Bulu sorry I kind of struggled there trying to explain what I was I was thinking but um, so that could definitely be interesting in itself um, because you know whatever is being covered up by uh, whatever black hole that is it may not be big enough for a, a, a tapu but anyway so so let's continue on to this theory here so <clears throat> we have our new our, our new map or our um, our map that's progressed just a bit since the last time we played Sun and Moon and we traveled through Alola um, and we know we have the four tapus that we've already come to to love and to know and to catch and uh, to battle with uh, but here here is my argument that we have been missing out on a tapu that has yet to be seen uh, so again, we have Tapu Bulu, we have Tapu Lele, we have Tapu Coco and Tapu Finny. Um, if you look at each of these Tapus, besides of their fairy typing, they actually 
all have something else in common that may not be as obvious um, as as the fairy typing that you see below the images, but each tapu, their um, I guess I'm gonna call it a suffix name. Uh, so for tapu bulu, bulu would be the suffix to it. Um, each suffix name has a repeated letter um, in its name. So bulu, the repeated letter is U. Lele's E. Coco's O. And uh, Fini is I. Now those letters aren't just any letters but they're vowels um, and as you hopefully know there's not just four vowels in the uh, in the alphabet there's five and so you're missing the a now another thing that's interesting here is that we have the grass we have electric we have water um, those typings and they're all very very core typings to Pokemon now psychic is an outlier here but psychic is known or at least was known as one of the most popular typings in Pokemon um, so that could be the reason to add a psychic type tapu in uh, but what type are we missing here we're missing the fire type because grass water and fire and electric are all very very core typings in the Pokemon universe so here is my theory we're missing a tapu it's gonna have the letter a repeated in its suffix name um, and it will have some sort of uh, connection to a fire type structure now this is all based on Hawaii we've we've known this for a while and what kind of fire structure is prevalent in Hawaii or in any kind of tropical region such as Hawaii uh, and the land formation that it does represent it's pretty easy it's a volcano now what how, how could we piece together a name that would be resembling a, a, a volcano uh, and using that vowel that we're missing well guys I think I have the solution here and I think it's Tapu Vala. Tapu Vala I think is going to get revealed. It's going to be a fire fairy Tapu Coco. It's going to have some kind of relevance to um, to Alola. You know, maybe it is not the deity of an individual island, but maybe it is the deity of all of Alola. You know, maybe we're not missing an island. Maybe it is you know kind of like the totem tapu uh, so it is just the leader of all the tapus they all um, they all are they receive uh, not orders they don't receive orders but um, they their leadership is from tapu vala and obviously tapu vala the word vala uh, could could really be connected to like volcano um, because as you can see tapu bulu resembles a bull Bulu, Bull, Lele, uh, it's a little weird. I I'm sure it does resemble something. Uh, Coco, uh, I, I, I read something about Coco looking like uh, having something to do with electricity. I I'm not really sure on that one. I do know it has some kind of uh, connection to its, uh, to its design or, or to what it's supposed to represent. Uh, and then Tapu Fini is pretty obvious. Uh, with Finn, Finny, Water. Uh, so, Tapu Vala, I think it's a, a name that could definitely exist. It has the A that we're missing out of the vowels that are represented in each of the other four Tapus. It has the fire typing, which I think we're missing as well. Uh, it's kind of interesting that they didn't do a fire fairy with the uh, electric water and grass and then maybe save Lele for later. But, um,. It probably has to do with the storyline. Probably has to do with some kind of the storyline um, that Tapu Vala has uh, some kind of backstory. I I'm not sure. I, I hadn't thought that far ahead. But guys, I'm feeling really good about this theory. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and, and I really do think that we're going to see something very similar to this happen. Uh, and, and you know, now that I've kind of really thought about it. I kind of do think that instead of having an individual island that this 
Tapu represents is that this Tapu actually represents all of Alola. It represents um, all of the uh, the the islands. And you know something else that because we're kind of thinking about fusion, it's like what if all four of these Tapus came together and made a new Tapu? Um, why would it be Fire Fairy? Uh, well, I don't know about that one. But, uh, you know, just kind of throwing some ideas out there and, and trying to make things make sense. Um, another thing that kind of uh, is a little unfortunate is the dex numbers are all, cons uh, not consensual, <laughs> but um, consecutive, you know, eight, 85, 6, 7, 8. So that might also kind of mess this theory up that there's a hidden tapu in there somewhere. But dex numbers can be modified. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, guys, let me know what you think below. Like, subscribe, and hopefully you enjoyed this little theory video. Hopefully you agree or have your own ideas of what uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon could, uh, could show us. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. November 17th isn't far away. Until next time, guys. Peace.